That looks pretty dope. Tinker. Yeah, they, they didn't hold anything back with the graphics. Alright, well, I guess this is Clown Man? Yeah. Reminds me of Peacock. Skullgirls, which came many years after this. Skullgirls is a fun game. I, I, I don't have anything I really play it with much, but it seems like a fun game. I really like it. Oh no, I just fell through a trap door, it looked like a game in Knuckles. And it dropped me into the... Uh, the Ice Climbers, the Stegos from... Mega Man 7, and a bunch of Gutsman things. I don't think you're supposed to kill them. You can't, but it's dropping worms too. The worms don't seem farmable though. Like... I don't know if there's anything I can do at this juncture to reach this bolt. So I'll come back to that later. Oh no, they broke their package and a bunch of little men can't do my life. I tried to ride the train, guys, and it was Oh, the trains kill enemies too. That's weird. So you're stuck in a demented Santa toy factory. To be honest, I kind of like it. Okay, I see the gimmick here. The the transition noises are pretty, are we playing Oh, it's, it's the Freddy Fosbear on a fucking poker chip. It looks like Five Nights at Freddy had sex in the casino. Five Nights at Fuck Boys. Five Nights at Fuck Boys. <laughs> Legit, that's the name of her. Related to Hentai. There's too many poker chips in the screen. Just double down. Ready. Maybe. I use my special weapons, see if that helps. So tornado hold seems like a pretty good choice. I need to position my own body better with this. It's getting faster, so I must be dealing a lot of damage. I, I swear they took the death animations. Right from Castlevania. Alright, so could I use Tornado Hold 
get across gaps. Yes. Piss off. Go. Is it bad that there's enough going on this on the screen at once and I'm having trouble following what's going on? What's this whole game is like? Like it's very odd for a Mega Man title. Alright. You don't sound like you like it so much. It's it's weird. I like this weapon though. Let's me play the Papa Pirate game. Oh, there's a totally a bolt up here. The bolt is actually in the Papa Pirate game, I just jokingly said. How do you break it though? Can you play the pop-up pirate game? I'll have to come back later for that bolt too then. Oh, there's another bolt. How do I get to it? Try a tornado hold. So much damage trying to do it. I'll have to come back through here once you figure out how to play the Papa Pirate game. I like how it not only has a weapon energy bar, but also tells me how many uses the weapon I have. In an actual number. Die, Joe. You don't belong in this world. So we got a maze here. So is this taking up or is it taking back down? Okay, so they're reversible paths at least. I want to be on that one though. The enemies respawn every time, which makes it a little annoying. There's an orange. I'm gonna be on this one. I think. That one just takes me back here. Uh, on this one then. Yep. Here. Let's try here. All right. That one took me down to hell, so maybe this one will take me up to heaven. Nope. 
I think this is one that we came up. We got a bolt, but uh, I don't know where to go from here. This one? Alright. He's a checkpoint right now. It's a boss room. I like one hit. Yo, Geeky! Watch it! What are you doing? Mom, ouch! Ow! What have you done to me? Watch it! What are you doing? Well, he doesn't like... Mommy! Tengu fan. Ouch! What have you done? Thunder Claw! Probably a Jason. It seems to be. I only hit him a couple times and he's half dead. Um, I do have to start the stage from, like, the Fosbear token, though. Ready. So we have to, uh, do this maze again. Seems to be very linear, this game does. There's probably... alternate paths that I'm missing, because I don't know what to look for. So you can ricochet the Mega Ball. That's interesting. Seems that Tengu attack is just the best one for this stage, though. Pretty much. Really have to keep energy for it. So I'm not going to waste the What's the pink one? It's the Mega Ball that you get at the start of the game. Oh, okay. So I'm not going to waste a bunch of energy trying to get those bolts right now. Um, I clearly don't have the right item for it. Or if I do, I'm not using it correctly, so... I'm just going to go to the boss. We can always use Exit to come and grab bolts and then leave the stage. Let's see if I remember the route. Basically, the boss one, really. Sixteen shots should be twice as many as you need to kill this boss. You've got no chance. Watch it! What are you doing? Ouch! Ouch! What have you done to Thunder? Ouch! 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 Watch it! What are you doing? What are you doing? Ouch! And yeah, that's the uh, combo in toasting. Dreams. Well, 
what could we possibly get from this though? Thunderclaw. That was a tester rope that we got hit by once. Alright, let's go and spend our bolts on something before we end of the stream. Alright. Welcome back! Uh, power shield. The spare extra might be a one time thing. Let's get the energy balancer first. The energy balancer is just so good. Good luck, Mega Man. Um So obviously a clown is the greatest weakness of a grenade. So you do get a little bit of choice at least in where you go next. Yeah. Ready. Look at this background though. Right. So we have Rush Dig. Or something. Oh, that's good. We have rush question mark. I know what that does. All right. So the power ups do seem to stay forever. They just all stack, I guess. Maybe you get to switch the shots or something. Let's put on thunderclaw and try it out. Okay, it's not directional. That's pretty decent range. Uh, it destroys environmental stuff. A lot more effectively than our blast, although it does anyway. There's some bats. Destroy these guys. It doesn't destroy these guys. So I'm not the most annoying enemies in any Mega Man game. The guy just slide along the floor. Done for very long either. Holy god. I felt like there should have been a secret there, but it doesn't seem to be the case. This reminds me of, um,. Project Vice, where you had to cut your way through a maze of vines that you left. Really annoying. I got a little bomb man platform here. Okay, so there's an alternate path somewhere that we exit through here, so one of those pitfalls up there was actually um, a secret. Hopefully we can come back. Sniper Joe has become Grenade Joe, I guess. Oh my gosh, this guy's huge. That weapon you're using is pretty dope. Yeah. 
Um, when you have a kinky clown, you get an electric whip. I like how every time you jump, you like fucking pump the air. Yeah, yeah. Mid boss time. Yeah. Oh yeah. Or is this gonna be jump man again? Oh no, it's um. Uses a jump shield, that's for sure. Oh, it's a big asshole there, too. Oh my god, this guy's such a douchebag. Look at those 3D freaking objects, man. Totally next gen, bro. Totally. Let's try the Tengu fan since he spends a lot of time in the air. Looks like a bunch of dead turbo men down there. Oh yeah, the Tengu fan does so much more work against this guy. Like Pretty actually, cool, I just don't expect it. it actually ruins and destroys the shield too, and it puts him in a pattern. Yeah, he's using like pretty cheeky attacks though. He got wrecked though. He's only weakness. Wind. Getting wrecked. Ready. Oh. Alright, I picked up another. another rush augment. What's this one? You got a rush bike. It shoots like missiles. And you can charge them. But it doesn't do anything when you charge them. Look at these hands. They're going from the background to the foreground. They even have proper reflections on them, too. That's just neat as shit. Okay, there's an antenna on this, so surely... We don't want this one, we want this one. Oh, I can't do anything with this? Is this here? It's, it's probably a fuse. It's not fire. True. Yeah, it does look like Dynamite. Oh. Hey, look. A fire guy walked by and proved your point immediately. Uh, it also means that if any fire guys drop in this section, you're gonna have a bad time. I mean, you are in a fucking weapon from factory, basically. factory, so... Take some intentional damage here just to uh, survive. Very odd game. Yeah, I don't like that part. That part's cheeky. Die, hag. Apparently, if you get hit midair, you can like jump on the air if you time it right. Synchronized off. I like synchronized bees. If you know what I mean. You know what I mean. So I guess if you're right, they want to. If I died doing that, it would have been okay, but I didn't, so it's even better. If I get hit by one of these cameras, it would knock me into the floor. I like how that torch, when you 
I like how that torch just like straight up killed himself. Yeah, he didn't want any part of this world. <laughs> He's like, I'd rather burn in hell. Okay, let's try a Thunderclaw. <laughs> if I'm doing these randomly in the right order, I'd be so happy, but I probably screwed up here. No, I think you need fire here. Fire the bench, I guess. Unless you get fire from here. No, it's just taking a lot of damage. Oh yeah! Destroyer. It's not walking into a pattern. No, but he got red. I think we actually randomly did them in the right order. Flash bomb. That's no good. <laughs> Sonic says, "That's no good." You got Crash Bomb! Crash Bomb! When was this game made? Um... Late 90s. Welcome back. This game reeks of 90s. <laughs> it reeks of 90s, therefore... Try Nostalgia. Reeks of 90s, therefore try to fuck yourself. I'm gonna buy eggs. What did they do to roll? She still has nightmares about it. Oh god. They gave her her puberty augment. Good luck, Mega Man! Okay, so, only about five minutes left. So, for now, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, follow me if you're not doing so already. And if you're interested on YouTube, hit the like button, helps a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more. Ring notification bell to see when I post my videos. And we will catch you next time with the uh, fourth stage and the rest of the game. This one seems a lot easier than Mega Man 7. Good night, everybody. Bye now.